Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, it looks like we have circles on the grid again today. Let's start with one across. Bring a smile to... Hmm... I wonder if it's elate. That has nice common letters in it. Hmm, let's see if that's right. Blank we having fun yet? That should definitely be are we having fun yet. Yeah, so it can't be a late. Hmm. What else could this be? Maybe it's amuse? Yeah, okay. Stay in power. This looks like a theme clue maybe. Hmm, this might be a revealer. Stay in power. Interesting. I don't want to look at the revealer just yet. Let's keep building around this. Vim. That's another word for energy. Very good. Traditional focus of Brooks Brothers. I think that's a men's suit maker, isn't it? Men suits? Shouldn't that be men's suits? Hmm. Maybe it's men's wear. That would actually fit. Okay. At follower on Twitter. Uh, your username goes after the at symbol, right? Username? Yeah, okay. Assistant with a goofy beatboxing routine. Just ask. Oh my god, is this Siri? <laughs> I have not asked her about this. I'm going to have to do that later. Okay. Reproductive unit in biology? That could be an egg. Okay, is this going to be re-sign? Oh, oh my god. This is very interesting. I wonder if this theme is going to be auto-antonyms? Like, resign and re-sign have opposite meanings, right? That would be a really fun theme. I wonder why the circles would be there, though. Interesting. Benadryl competitor, that should be... Shouldn't that be NyQuil? Isn't NyQuil spelled N-Y-Q-U-I-L? Am I wrong about that? Is it something weird like Q-I-L? Hmm, let's check and see if this is a Q. Hatcher of Hollywood plots. <laughs> this is a fantastic misdirection. This is actually a proper noun at the beginning of this clue. This is not about a villain hatching plots. This is about Terry Hatcher, the actress who is in Hollywood plots. Yeah, very funny. She was on the puzzle yesterday too. Um, so I have no idea what this is going to be. It might just be a drug I haven't heard of. Yeah. Lease alternative. You could lease or own a vehicle. Yeah. Web address ender could be .org, maybe? Unfiltered and unpasteurized brew. Hmm. A brew. Is this going to be a beer? Or maybe coffee? I don't know. Real tea? Is it going to be tea? I have no idea what this is. One playing with a mouse, maybe. I guess that could be a gamer if you're a PC gamer. Yeah. Audio tool that reduces volume extremes. Oh man. What is that called? I'm not super familiar with like audio technology and like post processing and that kind of stuff. I don't think it's gain. Yeah. I don't know. It's not a mixer either. I'm not sure what this is going to be. King of Pop. Are they talking about Michael Jackson? That was his nickname. It doesn't look like it, right? Maybe it's another instance of a misdirection with a proper name at the beginning of the clue. Yeah. Is there a singer called King? There's gotta be, right? It's not BB King. That wasn't really pop. Um, hmm. My knowledge of music is kind of superficial, yeah. Let's see if we can get some crossing help. Done openly? Is that like overtly? Again, this is another clue with a asterisk on it. 
So this might be another auto antonym. Um, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's what I'm gonna call them. Square. Hmm, it's not even out. I'm not sure. This is a very nice ambiguous clue. It could be a verb, like to square something, um, like pay someone back a debt you owe. It could also be just the shape. Hmm. Boy, that's tough. Another reproductive unit, this time in botany. Hmm. So maybe this isn't going to be sperm? Because it's botany, right? It's plants? Maybe it's a spore. There we go. That's a little tricky there. It shares a lot of the same letters too, so if you're not careful, you might get led astray there. Wild guess could be a stab. Daddy could be Papa. Another informal name for a father. Impressive work could be an opus, which is a cognate of opera. We've learned that recently. Uh, mammal with a prehensile proboscis. <laughs> a proboscis is your nose, right? Is that a tapir? I think that's kind of like an anteater type thing, isn't it? That would make sense that it's prehensile. That means you can grip things with it like a prehensile tail you can grip with. Okay. Shindig could be a bash. Is this another asterisk clue? Yeah, hold on to. Hmm. Boy, this is just so general. It could be so many things. We got some more crossing help here, but... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they're not auto antonyms exactly. Maybe you're dropping the circled letter to change the antonym into the answer you're looking for. Yeah, because then if you drop the S, this could be rain, right? Stay in power. Resign also doesn't really make sense because that's more like you'd be an athlete or something. It's not really in power, right? You'd be staying in your job, but it wouldn't really be a place of power, yeah. So it looks like maybe what we're doing is dropping the circled letter and then you get the right answer. And then if you take the circled letter into account, it gives you the opposite word. I just kind of thought of that because I was thinking, this should really be overt. And then if it was covert, it would fit, right? And that would be the opposite of overt. And that's what made me think, oh, we're probably just dropping the circled letter to get the word we want, yeah. There we go, all right. So that means the answer to this one is just gonna be a four letter word. Um, and then there's gonna be a letter here that makes it the opposite of hold on to. Hmm, maybe it's heave and have. Those would kind of be opposites, right? That's great, okay. Yeah, because if you heave something, you're kind of throwing it away, right? Ooh, these are fun, okay. Uh, I don't think they're working on the down clues, right? Yeah, these don't have asterisks. So it's just the acrosses that this is happening for. Okay, let's take a peek at this one. I'm having a lot of fun with these opposites. Changing gradually. Hmm. It starts with an E. Evolving? Evolving. Slow? I don't know. That seems a little weird. Let's see if this is a V. Oh, right, this is the audio tool. I don't really know that one, okay. Oh, yeah, actually I do know this one now that we have that C in there. That's Carol King. Yeah, she's like super prolific. She's written so many huge pop songs. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Is this Night Hall? Okay, yeah, maybe I have heard of that. Square, hmm, maybe it's even up. Yeah, that would be a verb form of square. That's great. Hmm. Is it real ale? I've never heard that before. Maybe this is a leveler? Yeah, I think that vaguely rings a bell. So this is a V. It is starting to look like it should be evolution. Changing gradually. 
This should be an L, right? Something with two heels. Two heels. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Says I do at a Vegas drive through say. That would be a good way to elope or elopes because it's present tense. Newman who wrote Heather has two mommies. Hmm. I don't think I know who this is. This is another opposite clue though. Doesn't eat. Hmm. Maybe that's fasts and feasts. There we go. We're starting to get the hang of these now that we know how they're working. These are fun. Okay. Uh, does that help at all here? Oh, is it a hoof? Something with two heels. Does a hoof have two heels? Maybe it does. No, we want this to be an L though, don't we? Is it a loaf? Oh, oh my god, that's really funny. Like a loaf of bread would have two heels. Yeah, one on either end. I never thought about that before. That's very clever. Great Basin Tribe. Well, we learned a couple of days ago that the Great Basin is in the Southwest. Mostly in Nevada, but it's in other states too. Maybe that could be the Ute in Utah? Yeah, that seems to be about the right area. Okay. Helpfully pushy person? Helpfully pushy. Is this like a do-gooder kind of? Is this a nudnik? Uh, I think we just learned the definition of this. Can I remember? Nudnik. Oh man, I think it must be. It just seems right. Um, what was the definition? Was it somebody that asked pesky questions? I don't know, hopefully the goose can clear that up. We did see this word, I think last week, and I thought it was really funny. Let's see if this is right. Neglect, yeah, that should be disuse, right? Excellent. Country on the Gulf of Guinea. The Gulf of Guinea, hmm. I don't know about that one. Maybe it's a nudger. That actually makes more sense because they'd be nudging you to do the right thing. Yeah, because then this could be Togo. I like that. Yeah, okay. Large blue expanses. That could be oceans. Okay, let's see if we can get this corner up here. Like the background of the Wicked poster. Uh, isn't the poster for Wicked all green? Oh, maybe it's Emerald. That's so clever, yeah, because it's the Emerald City, right? Very nice, okay. Main character of classic TV, and this is wordplay. So, is it a character with a mane? I think it must be. It's gotta be Mr. Ed, right? Because horses have manes. Yeah, okay. Capital of Eritrea. Oh, jeez, I have no idea. Clean blank? Clean blank, and it has a hyphen. Maybe it's clean shaven? Yeah, like an adjective, okay. Viciously criticizes informally? Ooh, I don't know about that one. Big jerk. Is this about a big jerk like a tug? Or is it about like a big bully or something? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe it could be an ass. Yeah, that could be. That could be a person that's a jerk. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Put a cork in it, an equivalent phrase. Maybe that's just shh, like a librarian. <laughs> I'd love to hear a librarian say, put a cork in it. Okay, maybe this is shreds. And then what's this one? Vandalize, e.g. could be mar, yeah. So this is Asmara Man. I don't think I've ever even heard of this before. It's very hard. Okay, so this is looking like evolution. Maybe it's evolutionary, and then this is revolutionary. So it's quick change as opposed to gradual change. Yeah, that's good, okay. Perfumes with a thurible, oh my god. Oh man, a thurible, what in the world is that? Is that like um, what they use in Catholic churches to burn incense? Um, is it a censer? I thought they were called censers. 
So maybe it could be senses in the verb form. Hmm, let's see if we can confirm that. Single masted boat. Yeah, that could be a sloop, like the sloop John B. Some thrift shop music purchases. Used CDs, maybe? Let's see if CDs is right. It could be like LPs or something too. Like some abs? No, those should be rock hard. Yeah, if you're doing your core exercises. Performed at one's peak. This is wordplay. I think this has to be about the peak of a mountain. A performance that might happen would be a yodel. So that would be yodeled. Uh, maybe with two L's? Yeah, I think that might be right. That's a great wordplay clue there. Type in could be key in. And then what is this? Psy? K-pop star whose hit 2012 song refrain made the Yale Book of Quotations. Oh yeah, that's gotta be Gangnam Style, right? Yeah, that song was inescapable in 2012. Okay. Oh right, this is the author, okay. You know what, maybe we can get this one and build off of it, our last antonym here. On this spot. <laughs> I guess this is kind of the most basic opposite you learn as a kid. That would be here and there, right? Okay, very nice. Blank, rinse, repeat. Is that lather? Yeah, lather, rinse, repeat. Dig up? It's not unearth. Is it exhume? Yeah, like you would a body. Very nice. A very good entry going into the Halloween season. Like some winter weather. Hmm. It's gotta be about cold weather, doesn't it? What's this here? It's in heavy rotation on the highway. <laughs> I guess this is not about music. It's gonna be an axle, right? On a car or truck, yeah. Tone could be hue for talking about color. First responder in brief should be an emergency medical technician. Daisy Ridley's Star Wars role. She was Ray, right? Ray Palpatine, right? Yikes, okay. Like some winter weather. Okay, that's gonna be sleety. So this is Leslie. Leslie with an EA at the end. That's very unusual. Okay, Leslie Newman. Give off should be emit. Christmas trio is the Magi, right? That's the wise men. Man in the Irish Sea, e.g. You know what? This is looking like a very devious misdirection here. Um, this is not about a person in the Irish Sea. This is about the Isle of Man. There's a island called Man in the Irish Sea. That is so, so tricky. I love it. There's been some fantastic misdirections on today's puzzle. And blank sum? That should be and then sum. Okay, we've got ash here. Wood in a baseball bat. Yeah, traditionally it's ash, although I think they're starting to use different woods lately. Okay, aerial hunter is an eagle, yeah. They would live in an airy, as we learned a couple of days ago. Otherworldly could be alien. What's this here? On the sheltered side, nautically, that would be a lee if you're on your sloop, yeah. Fitness measure could be steps. Yeah, you measure your steps in fitness apps, right? Okay, ye old apothecary bottles. I guess this is files. That's nice. I love that they give you the indication that it should be kind of spelled in the antiquated way with ye old. Yeah, so it's files instead of vials. And you know what? Before we look at our revealer here, let's just take a look at the circles and see if they spell anything out here. Secret. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so we've got a secret hidden in all of our antonyms. When revealed in this puzzle, it reverses the meanings of the answers to the starred clues. I guess this is just going to be the word secret again in here. Yeah, that's really fun. It's a secret word that reverses all the answers. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, a lead into self, herself? Is this the NHL here? Shipping choice, no, that's DHL, okay. D&D &D equipment is definitely dice. Yeah, you use that all the time. Helen who sang, I am woman. 
Ooh, this is a tough one to end on. I don't know this singer. Hopefully we can get this one. Slop spot? Yeah, I guess that could be a pigsty. So that would give us Helen Reddy. Reddy, R-E-D-D-Y. Yeah, I definitely haven't ever heard of her. All right, well, let's throw in Helen Reddy and see if that does it for us. Very nice, a Wednesday in 25. That's kind of right on target for us. I really liked this theme a lot. I'm glad we kind of took the time to suss out how the theme was working as we were solving, because it was fun to use that knowledge to kind of get the subsequent theme answers. Yeah, and then we uncovered the secret at the end, which kind of told you exactly what to do in case you were having trouble with it. Yeah, that's really, really fun. That's a perfect Wednesday theme. And boy, was the misdirection on point today. We had this really great Isle of Man misdirection. And then we had the two kind of hidden proper nouns, right? We had Carol King hidden here, and we also had Terry Hatcher. I just loved all of those. Those are really fun. I also really like the wordplay on this yodeled answer performed at once peak. That kind of has the perfect amount of dad joke vibes to it. I love that one. All right, well, thank you for helping me crack the secret on today's Wednesday puzzle. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week the Thursday. And before I go, I just want to give you a little teaser. I've been working on something for the channel over the last month or so. It's going to be debuting on the Friday, October 1st puzzle this week. So make sure to tune in and check that one out. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.